The WADA code framework only tests for performance enhancing drugs in and out of competition and illicit drugs in competition, so that's match day only. So the, the RFU's illicit program fills that void of out of competition testing for illicit drugs. No player we have had fail has ha actually indicated any long term abuse problems. It has all been a one off use, a mistake if you like, a, a very much an accident on a night out. They've made a serious error of judgment. So once a player has failed, obviously there, there's the fine that I mentioned but there is an ongoing treatment process and they are target tested. Should a player fail um, in the 18 month period from that the, the first initial failure, so as for a second uh, violation, there would obviously be uh, another treatment process but unfortunately there is then a, another fine and a period of uh, suspension. Now when the programme was initially set up, the period of suspension that a player for a second violation would be looking at would be a 12-month sanction, possibly more.